curious how to install Steam Workshop mods and take your game to the next level with mods. Today I will guide you through everything you need to know to install mods in Euro Truck Simulator 2 via Steam Workshop. Before we start, I'm going to assume you came from the video you need to watch before installing mods. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you do. Remember the problems I talked about being careful to install certain mods? Here you are safe. As a beginner, this is the best method to install mods in this game. The problem is that not every mod is on Steam Workshop. And that is why if you want to install other types of mods, such as maps, you must follow other guides I made. In Steam Workshop, you will not be able to download any map for the game. But by using this way of installing mods, you don't need to worry about mod updates to download again. Once a mod gets an update, it will get automatically downloaded. First things first, you will need a Steam account. If you haven't already, which I doubt, head over to Steam website, create an account and make sure you want a copy of Euro Truck Simulator 2 on Steam to access its workshop. Now that you are logged in, let's explore the Steam Workshop. To access it, go to Steam Library, Euro Truck Simulator 2 and now click on Workshop. Here is the page that you will use many times to explore and download mods for your game. Here to download the mod, you simply access to the page of the mod and click on subscribe. It can be done with the game open as well. When you choose to subscribe a mod, it will get downloaded and it will show up in the mod manager in game. Before you hit the subscribe button, always check the mods requirement. Some mods may have dependencies. That is the case of this one that requires you to own the Chrome Trailer DLC in order to use this mod. If it doesn't get updates after a long time or doesn't work anymore, you can simply unsubscribe and it will be uninstalled for you. Now I'm going to subscribe this mod for example. Now in game, go to mod manager of the profile you are going to use mods from. In mod manager, your subscribed mod should be automatically loaded. If not, for some reason, try restarting your game. Now this list you see here is the list of mods you have available to you from Steam Workshop that you clicked on to subscribe. But they are not installed in this profile. To install in this profile you need to move them to the active list. These are installed in the profile. If you are installing mods for the first time, please install a few mods at a time. The order of the list of active mods is important once you install many mods or experience lag spikes from your game. To know how to order it, you should check my guide on how to do it. After placing in the list the mods that you want, you can close this menu and initiate your profile. Now your mods should be there. One thing that can happen is when there is a new version of the game, some mods might stop working or might not be compatible straight away. In that case, you should wait and give it some time so the mods update their mods. Once the mod is updated, it will get automatically downloaded as long as it is subscribed, of course. Other than that, if you have questions or mod problems, comment down below or join my Discord server where I and other members will try our best to help you out. And there you have it, my friends. Installing mods from Steam Workshop is as smooth as this. Now, if you want to install other types of mods, I highly recommend you to follow my other guides so you can avoid confusion or problems. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more Truck Simulator 2 content.